From September 1929 to today, almost 96 years, the S&P 500 has beaten gold by less than 7%. That difference is pretty much nothing. There's almost no difference whatsoever. When I saw that number, I double-checked it, thinking this must be some kind of a mistake. But it's not a mistake. Everything I've ever read has always led me to believe the S&P 500 would clearly win if you just waited long enough. This data not only showed me that belief was wrong, it showed me that it is completely wrong. And digging into the numbers even deeper showed me there is a time-tested way that it has reliably predicted when the S&P would and would not outperform gold, why this matters, and how you can spot this difference for yourself. When I map the ratio between gold in blue and the S&P 500 in orange with the ratio between them in gray, a specific range kept appearing. I call it the nullification zone, and it sits in between the 0.6 and 0.7 ratio range. Historically, when purchases of stocks were made while the ratio was in this blue range, the long-term advantage of stocks compared to gold tended to disappear completely. Over long periods, the outcomes of investing in either gold or the S&P ended up being extremely close. This happened across decades. Actually, it happened over full lifetimes.